I think that would be fun. Hello! We are in upstate New York for the weekend. Listen, all the apartment hunting and the house hunting, we needed a break. Actually, we're, we're up here because Noah has a bike race in two days. We thought we'd come up a little early because it is like a five hour ish drive and we actually found the cutest it's, it's not, i guess it's like a tiny house what they call it, like a tiny cabin um that has a lot of property a lot of land and it just felt like the perfect getaway so let me show you around so here is where we drove up i immediately thought this was an out outhouse and i was like we've we've gone too far but no it's just a shed and then you turn this way onto the property First we have a little fire pit area with cute seating. Look how stunning it is out here. Like it goes for a while too. We're really just out here by ourselves. And then here is the actual tiny cabin. We have a picnic table, we'll probably like eat dinner here every night. Um, over here we have a really cute like uh, swing set. What is this not called a swing set? No, what is this called? Like a porch swing? Porch swing. Uh, Noah's walking the dogs. Yeah! The dogs are not happy with us after the five hour drive, but I think they're loving getting to roam around and do all the sniffs. All right, let me take you inside the tiny cabin. I also got to get a poop bag. I see Myla is going to the bathroom already. <laughs> so here is when you first enter. We've got our flea and tick spray for the dogs. Cute couch area, very cozy. Come through this way. And you have the kitchen. It's actually pretty spacious. There's like tons of storage and stuff. Stove, bathroom is in through here. You know, just enough. It's more of like a glamping style experience, obviously. Go back through here. And we put a pillow here so the dogs aren't running up and down, but you go up the stairs, right next to the kitchen. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, I almost just fell. Okay, and then you're up here and you have the bed! <laughs> How cute is that? I really don't know why they put fake grass up here. Probably would have put like a carpet or something, but I mean, whatever. It's still very, very cute. Honestly different than any place we've ever stayed in. I mean, we've definitely, we are definitely cabin type people. We stay in a lot of cabins, but I've never play, stayed in a place this small. I can't even tell if it really shows like how small it is on camera. I feel like everything always looks like bigger on camera. Truly everyone I know always says our apartment in New York City looks bigger until they see it in person. So I think cameras often can be a little deceiving. Noah's already at the fire pit. Oh yeah, and look, there's a cute hammock like way, I don't know if you can even see it way over there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> You're gonna leave his leash on him? He still wants you to pet him even when he's sitting in a hammock. Oh, Momo, well, are you about to pee again? Gosh, she's had a, a literal field day with how many times she's getting to pee here. First night dinner, we made beanie weenies. Please tell me in the comments if you had these as a kid, if you remember them. This was my favorite thing as a kid and I thought it was perfect for night so, one. We <laughs> drove out to Lake Placid today to explore. I am severely underdressed. It seemed like it was gonna be really hot. So now we're on the hunt. Uh, we're on the hunt for a hoodie or a jacket so we can go to the lake because there's no way I'm getting on the water or near the water like this. It seems like my options are limited. <laughs> not. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, we got my shirt. Let's see what it says. Rip the tags off. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Not littering. It says, Baba Ball Down. I don't know what that means. If this is controversial, I'm sorry, I have no idea. But I'm gonna be warm. That's all that matters. Honestly, no, it feels kind of warm out. I know, it's warming up. It's just when the breeze hits you. Cute. Wow, you're a true hockey girly. Here, let's see you. Let's, yeah, let's see you hit a hockey puck. Wow. <laughs> That's not where we go. <laughs> Actually, the coffee shop says so. <laughs> Found the coffee shop. So cute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. That's nuts. No one convinced me we were out on, on the water. Is this a canoe? Uh, rowboat. Rowboat. We're out on a rowboat. It's really pretty. And Lindsay is once again the passenger princess. <laughs> For 
forever and always the passenger princess. <laughs> this is really pretty though. It's actually not as scary as I thought it would be. It's like pretty calm. Cute little date. Very cute. Should I sing for you? Yes. <laughs> wow. Do you feel like you're in Italy? No, but I love it. <laughs> My current view from the hammock. goodness i always like to get a film photo of all of us whenever we're traveling um, you just set it on a regular tripod and it's so nice because these have obviously a timer but unlike like a regular camera you don't have to focus before anything you just press the timer and it does everything for you so it's going to be on this setting here the 10 second timer and then i'll set up the shot and then i will run <laughs> with a quick 10 seconds all right let's hope i can make it in time 10 second timer Go! <laughs> I was recording. Okay. You did it. Oh, I took it! Yeah! <laughs> what a view, huh? Yeah. Oh, he's cute. Dirty mountain woman. Aren't you? <laughs> Dirty mountain woman. I need to wear shoes. Mm. All right. Cheers. Cheers. It's race day. Ooh, race day. That's fun to say. And the day has come. What well, we're here for, the uphill bike race, 4,000 feet of elevation, all the way up, and then, and then 4,000 feet of elevation all the way back down. Oh, I cried at the starting. I am walking back to the car now, probably gonna hang out there for like an hour and a half. And then I'll be tracking Noah on the Find My Friends app when I see that he's close enough. I will come back to the finish line. If you can't tell, I'm already out of breath and he's doing all of that. Hilarious. For reference, they will be biking. See if I can zoom all the way in. We're going. All the way to the very tip top of that mountain up there. Shit, Mary and went out. Cooking miles ready for a new world. Don't show that path. Wanda looked all around this town and all she found was Earl. <laughs> Bruce, I had no idea how dark this song was as a kid. I loved it. <laughs> Final morning. I think the pups know we're leaving. Bruce anxious. You can tell. We got our coffee. We've got Earl. <laughs> and last day with the view. Summer faded into fall. You're hot, Momo. We're gonna have AC very soon. Alright, any last peas? Come on, Don't worry, we didn't forget you. And we're off. We've got the pups in tow. Hopefully not a mouse in tow. I never <laughs> even told you guys but I watched a mouse jump in the vehicle a few days ago. Um, we've done everything we could to make sure he hopefully got out, like left doors open, everything. I don't know if he escaped or not. I saw him get in, I never saw him leave. But you know the phrase, quiet as a mouse. He might have escaped as quietly as he got in. Cause I didn't hear him, I only saw him, you know, so. But we, uh, we named him Marvin. Moses. He's gonna, he's gonna come home with us to Manhattan. We're really hoping he's not because that he's in for a rude awakening <laughs> if he goes, if he, you know, ends up in Manhattan. But fingers crossed that he got out. We really did try because the last thing I want is to be rehoming a mouse, you know, so let's hope he got out of here. I even like, I felt bad, but I saw online you got, you just have to open all the windows and doors and like blow the horn because they hate loud noises. So I did that. I opened all the doors during Noah's race, was blowing the horn. So let's hope he got out. You know, I didn't see him, but let's hope. Anyways, we are on our way home. It's funny, we came here and one of our goals while we were here was to get our pre-approvals done and everything for the like 
moving and everything. But I think this whole trip actually reminded us that we need to chill a little bit and slow down because our lease actually isn't up until almost end of November. It is June 2nd at this date when we're recording on our last day. There's no reason for us to be stressing about it and rushing it and a few days ago when we first got here we almost like jumped and actually me almost jumped and made us put an offer in on a place. We just realized okay but we don't know if it's a place for us yet. If it's not meant to be it's not meant to be. We have so much time and I think this trip really helped us like me at least like chill out a little bit from that process and know that we have time we don't need to like rush into such a big decision. So any, any final thoughts? Yeah, I think waiting is probably the best idea, which sucks. Uh, it's it's so tough seeing all these beautiful homes and then having to to sit on the bench, but I don't know. We realize we don't need to be breaking our lease to be buying a home. That would be like eight grand, eight grand that we don't need to be wasting. But yeah, we are on our way home.